start to our work week, giving us a reminder that the official start to winter is only 10 short days away. But this time of year can be very dangerous, even deadly for people who are homeless. Now, according to the Buffalo City Mission, nearly 6400 Western New Yorkers are experiencing homelessness, the vast majority of which almost 5000 people are from Erie County and more than 85% of homeless families are led by single women. That's why tonight our Joss in person is taking a closer look at this issue in one community in Buffalo and is speaking with one person who's currently facing homelessness, as well as an organization that's helping people who are homeless find a warm place to stay during the cold winter months and a community leader on the west side who has a message for homeless people in his community. I'm heading to McDonald's to try to see if I, somebody help me out with something, some food or, you know, stuff like that. There. Meet Alexandro Carmona. He's homeless. My rent was uh, $1,100. Yeah, and I lived in Kenmore, so I lived in a very good neighborhood and everything. You know, when I came back, they had changed the locks and everything on me, and yeah, eviction notice and all that stuff. Yeah. I lost everything. He tells me it has been five months that he and a few others would panhandle right here on Niagara Street. I became homeless, I lost my job. Um, I couldn't find any more work. Went to sleep that first night when I woke up, my wallet and everything was missing. And one thing came to another and it's just been a, 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 you know, a race. The Little Portion Friary opened a second location on Main Street to help people like Alexandro. This location, 1437 Main Street, is available for our guests to do daytime programming. So they are going to have interviews with case management, work towards their goals. The executive director tells me people can use this space to watch TV, this room to grab a snack, and this area to warm up and just ease their mind with some board games. It's really hard to find privacy when you're homeless. Um, you know, you're in at, at our shelter, you're sharing a room with another person. The president of the Hispanic Heritage Council, Western New York, Casimiro Rodriguez, tells me he believes the key to not being homeless is to want to get help. He shares with me how he personally have seen it happen. In the west side of Buffalo, uh, there's been some folks that have been homelessness but uh, they've asked for help, they've asked for support, they've been given that, and they're not homeless today. Casimiro also says it's becoming a serious issue with the homeless population gathering in the west side near where Alexandro panhandles. They go away for a while and then they come back, you know, but uh, it, it's a serious issue. There's a lot of misconceptions and um, I, so many of the stories that I hear are filled with trauma. But Alexandro says he's in the process of wanting to get help. Actually go to Best Self and right now what they're doing is they're trying, they gave me an appointment, so I got an appointment in a couple weeks. And um, once I see them, they're gonna speak to me about what, you know, and ask me questions about what it is that I need. If you're seeking a homeless shelter, you can call the Little Portion Friary at 716-882-5705. You can also head over to WKBW.com to see a full list of other services. In Buffalo, Jocelyn Person, 7 News.